This is gonna save someone's yes. life. I'm here at one of the New York blood centers in Manhattan, and I'm about to donate blood for the first time. So I just filled out a questionnaire. It's regulated by the FDA. Every time someone comes to donate blood, if it's their first time, if it's their 15th time, they have to fill out the same questions. It's really designed to assess um, the risk of you having any kind of re medical reason why you shouldn't or couldn't donate blood or blood products today. So things like travel outside the country, certain types of medications uh, or infections, whether someone's had a tattoo in the last three months, uh, certain types of sexual exposure, anything that could put you at higher risk, pretty straightforward, and now I'm ready to go in the back. Hi. Please state your full name. Jennifer Ashton. May I please see an ID? Yes. I have to check your pulse okay. for this one. So I'm here with my amazing nurse, Navalette. This is uh, the room that you go into after you fill out the basic questionnaire. And here, Navalette did some vital signs. She checked my pulse, my blood pressure, my temperature, and my hemoglobin level with a simple little finger stick. That's to make sure that there's no anemia there that would uh, prevent someone from donating blood today. And that's basically it. Yes, her number was actually great. Thank you, it's a pleasure meeting okay, you. Okay, I will see you inside. Yes. Hi Ron. Hey. How are you? Good. He's talking about me because so you're he's saying we take in the middle. Long. Okay. Okay. You're gonna give me a nice tight squeeze and hold now. Okay. okay. You, you are so good. Barely felt a thing. So now okay. Jen, you're in your process. You're gonna squeeze and release. Okay. Squeeze and release. Squeeze and release. Until I say you're yep. done, you can stop squeezing. Every hospital has a blood bank. Constantly people are needing blood transfusions or blood products for any number of reasons. It's not something that people think about unless you or a loved one needs a blood transfusion, and then it becomes top of mind. Um, but in the pandemic, uh, people weren't out as much. A lot of them were afraid. A lot of times people were afraid to come to centers and donate because they didn't want to be exposed possibly to COVID-19. But with the hospitals full and with people critically ill, whether it was with COVID or something else, the blood supply really took a hit. You can donate blood after having COVID. You just can't donate blood when you actually are sick during those 10 days or if you still have symptoms. How often can someone donate blood if they want to become a regular donor? Every 56 days. Every 56 days. What's gonna happen to my bag of blood after, it, after we're finished here? Okay. Once we finish and I remove the needle from your arm, we bag it up and we put it inside the cooler for shipment. Um, once it leaves our site, it'll go to our testing facilities where they will actually do the testing. Mm -hmm. And if everything comes back well, which I'm sure it will, this blood will be in inventory within probably 12 to 16 hours after your donation. Am I done, Ron? Yes, ma'am. Woo! <laughs> Oh my God. You know what? I have to tell you something. Like this is gonna save someone's yes. life. Yes. Wow. That's an amazing, amazing feeling. All right, see? It just doesn't even look like you had anything done That's yet. That's it. Cheers. Some apple juice. Thank you. And some potato chips salt. So that's it. I'm done. I gave a pint of blood. It took about an hour. It was painless. I feel fine. 
Uh, you can come and donate blood. You don't have to be vaccinated. If you've had COVID, you can donate. There's a blood shortage. Blood is always needed. You could potentially save three lives. I'm so glad I did this.